So over the past 48 hours, I've received a couple of requests to do a video update on one particular stock. That stock is ticker symbol GILD, Gilead Sciences. Here I am about to walk through the technical picture and how to best set up a swing trade if you're not in it or if you're looking at swing trading GILD. Here we are on the daily chart. First of all, I want to bring your attention to the fact that on this particular stock, we have been moving sideways since September 2014. What sticks out the most and what I see what is most pertinent to the current chart is that since uh, the beginning of November, the end of October, we established a high. We have most recently established a lower high in December. And as you can see, again, as we continue uh, very close to the current juncture, we've made another lower swing high in late January. And most recently, as of a couple of days ago, it appears as if we're starting to sell off from this declining trend line. Interesting type of picture. On the contrary to that, yes, it looks as if we are starting to establish some form of a lower movement on Gillette, we are running into a very important support level. You can see right here around that psychological round number, around $100 a share, we've hit support many, many times. You can see all of these little uh, green areas which I'm referencing on the chart right here, just below this 100 area, comes in about $96.80. We have another support level. Now drilling into the most recent price data for the month of February, we've had an open gap. We've rallied back up. We had filled the gap and again, it appears as if we're starting to roll over. So we're looking at Gillard uh, somewhat negatively at the moment. The main bullish argument for this particular stock is that we are at support. It is as simple as that. We are at support on Gillard. So if I was to base the technical analysis again of support and resistance, the entry trigger needs to be placed down about $95.13. Let's step through some of the additional uh, technical picture. You can see that we are above the 200 simple moving average. This is the long term trend of Gillette. But if you take into consideration the 100 simple moving average, it is starting to move horizontal. In other words, it is supportive of a sideways market move on this particular stock. It hasn't really factored in the calculations of these lower highs, which are most recently being established. At the current juncture, we are in between both the 100 and the 200. So we are quite flat on the overall outlook of this particular stock. It's not giving us a long term trend to start buying yet. And it's certainly not giving us enough information to start shorting this particular stock. If we have a look at the exponential moving averages, they are starting to cross back and forth. Uh, you can see that we're in some form of a channel. We are not breaking out. We're not trending. We're not breaking swing highs. We are also not breaking swing lows at the moment. So we need to remain neutral in this particular picture as well. You can see if we bring up the oscillating indicators, we are moving into oversold territory. The RSI is sitting quite oversold. The MACD is just giving us crosses back and forth. There is no net movement net movement on this particular stock. Again, the Stokes is looking quite bearish, but we are at support. My outlook for this particular stock is that we are going to simply trade sideways until we develop a Bollinger Band squeeze and maybe break out above this level here, about $107 on the upside. I'm going to adjust this long-term trigger. This is me adjusting it from the last update. And also I'm going to stick with the 9513 bearish entry until we get outside of these parameters, that swing low right there and that swing high right there. I'm very, very neutral in this particular stock. Now at the moment, tying that into the overall market picture, yes, we have gone through some form of a retracement. Gillette has come out of that retracement pretty good compared to other stocks. A lot of stocks are actually breaking the swing lows, whereas Gillette is still holding a higher low relative to the low in February 2015. When we tie this into the bigger technical picture, again, we are very, very neutral in this particular stock. There's conflicting uh, technical signals saying, look, so short uh, and also saying, look, by long. When you get to that type of um, decision on a technical picture on a chart, it's best to sit on the sidelines and wait for additional confirmation. Again, it looks as if we are beginning to set up a downtrend, but until we start to form a lower low, i.e. take out these swing lows, you need to remain neutral on GILD. There's one other argument which I want to bring to your attention. That is the fact that we could be setting up some form of an ugly descending triangle. And that sort of fits into the picture which we're looking at. There's a good chance that Jill's going to come down to about $97 a share. It may bounce but the oscillations are going to become less and less and less. Pay attention to that downward trend and pay attention to the support level. This is going to work very nicely with the Bollinger Band type of trade setup where we can look for a volatility break on Gillard. At that point in time, the market should give us better indication of what to expect uh, when we look at trading Gillard. But at the moment, again, I'm very neutral. There is no overwhelming trade setup on this particular stock or there's no trade setup 
at the immediate sort of time frame which we're working on being a swing trader and looking for trades at the moment i'd rather sit tight and just let this fizzle out at this location and then get into a really good trade opportunity when it presents so what i'll do i'll keep referencing this when the time is right this is a stock which we can sort of stalk and i'll present you with a compelling trade setup when of course the time is right at the moment though for those people who've emailed in looking for a trade update or a video referencing the current price uh, transactions taking place on GALD. There is no overwhelming type of trade setup at the moment. I do like these two trade triggers, but they are not open in my account. I'll evaluate it once we get back down to support. I'll also evaluate this stock when we get up to this declining resistance level as well. That is the pivot points which we need to pay attention to. This is going to give us the best indication of future price when we, re when we revisit these levels. And we can obviously gauge the sentiment through candlesticks and other technical means to give us that best high probability trade setup. So that's referencing Guild as at this Thursday. I hope you enjoyed the analysis. Um, stick with it. There will be a good trade on Guild, but just not at the moment. Thank you so much. I'll see you all Thursday afternoon for another market recap. Goodbye.